Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about why President Joe Biden needs to get hearing aids. Now, there have been a lot of United States presidents throughout the course of history who have worn hearing aids. These presidents include Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Jimmy Carter, and even President Bill Clinton. However, the president who is best known for his use of hearing aids is Republican Ronald Reagan. In fact, the late President Reagan is probably the single most influential person throughout the course of history when it came to hearing treatment with the use of hearing aids, influencing perhaps more people worldwide than anyone has ever had before and after in history. In 1939, while filming the movie Code of the Secret Service, he sustained hearing damage due to a 38 caliber pistol dummy round that was fired too close to his right ear. In 1983, President Reagan got his first set of hearing aids and he was not shy about it. Following the news of President Reagan getting his hearing aids, hearing aid sales skyrocketed by 30% in the fourth quarter alone in 1983. To this day, the growth rate of hearing aid adoption has never even come close to matching what it was back then when President Reagan Reagan chose to talk about his use of hearing aids. Now, this is not the reason why I think President Joe Biden needs to get hearing aids. In fact, he may not have a hearing loss at all. But there are several things that I've identified that lead me to believe that he may actually have a hearing loss and that he should treat his hearing loss for the benefit of himself and the entire country. Now, just to be clear, I am not making any political statements inside of this video. Whether you're a Democrat, Republican, or Independent, it makes no difference to me, and that's what makes this country great. That being said, there are a few things that I've noticed about President Joe Biden that have me concerned about his hearing. First and foremost, President Joe Biden is the oldest president that we have ever had, and as of this recording, he's 80 years old. According to the National Council on Aging, approximately 90% of individuals who are 80 years of age and older have hearing loss. Hearing loss caused by age is called presbycusis, and this is what presbycusis looks like on an audiogram. Typically, the hearing in the low frequency range is not that bad, but as you go through the mid and into the high frequencies, that hearing loss becomes more significant. This age-related hearing loss is typically caused by the deterioration of inner and outer hair cells inside of the cochlea, which is your hearing organ. It often causes difficulty understanding female talkers, understanding soft talkers. It typically results in you having the perception that people are mumbling to you and difficulty separating speech from background noise. This can also lead to a condition called tinnitus, which is a phantom ringing or buzzing sound inside of your ears despite no sounds being present. Another thing that increases the likelihood that President Joe Biden has hearing loss is his gender. According to the National Institutes on Deafness and Other Communication Disorders, men are twice as likely to suffer from a hearing loss than women are. Granted, some of this increased prevalence of hearing loss in men is due to them working more noisy jobs and being subject to noise exposure, and President Joe Biden has pretty much been in politics his entire life, so this is much less of a red flag for me. However, the third thing that I've noticed about President Joe Biden that has me concerned that he could have a hearing loss is the amount of times that he has tripped or fallen since becoming president. Now, some of these falls are probably just due to misplaced sandbags but he's fallen enough times at this point that it has me concerned that his balance is being affected possibly by his hearing. We know that untreated hearing loss leads to higher rates of falling, thanks to a study published in the National Library of Medicine back in 2012 by Dr. Frank Lynn. This study indicated that even a mild degree of hearing loss triples the risk of an accidental fall, and this risk increases by another 140% for every additional 10 decibels of hearing loss. So if President Biden has an untreated hearing loss and he wants to fall less, he needs to treat his hearing loss with hearing aids. But the fourth and most concerning thing that I've noticed about President Joe Biden that leads me to believe that he could have an untreated hearing loss and needs hearing aids is his apparent rate of cognitive decline since becoming president. Now I know that I'm going to receive a lot of criticism for this observation, especially since I'm an audiologist and not a neurologist, but I believe that the Joe Biden that we see today is not the same Joe Biden that we had when he got elected. So the best way to get something done if you if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to anyway I'm 
we're going to get a lot done. I should also say that I know how difficult it can be to speak in public and sometimes fumble over your own words, and I'm doing it on a much smaller scale than the President of the United States, who has much more high-pressure speaking situations. But I still believe that we are seeing signs of at least mild cognitive impairment with President Biden. So what the heck does cognitive decline have to do with hearing loss? Well, back in 2011, another study by Dr. Frank Lynn that looked to determine whether hearing loss is associated with incident all-cause dementia and Alzheimer's disease indicated that hearing loss is independently associated with incident all-cause dementia. And they were able to quantify it with a mild untreated hearing loss making you two times more likely a moderate untreated hearing loss making you three times more likely, and a severe untreated hearing loss making you five times more likely to experience dementia later in life. But this is not the only time that we've seen this link between cognitive decline and hearing loss. This data was supported in 2020 by perhaps the most prolific and credible medical journal in the entire world called The Lancet, where they identified untreated hearing loss in midlife as the leading potentially modifiable risk factor for dementia later in life at 8% of total risk factors. But you know what? There's more. As recent as July 2023, we saw the release of the results of the ACHIEVE study, which indicated that hearing aid use among individuals at high risk for cognitive decline actually reduced their rate of cognitive decline by 48%, which is massive. Virtually all of the research studies that have come out over the course of the past decade plus that have been talking about hearing loss and cognitive decline and dementia have indicated that individuals with untreated hearing loss have higher rates of cognitive decline. Which means that if the 80-year-old male president of the United States who falls down and stumbles over his words a lot happens to have an untreated hearing loss, Loss, he needs to treat that hearing loss with hearing aids to potentially slow down his rate of cognitive decline. As of me filming this video, Joe Biden still has over a year of being the president of the United States with a very solid chance of winning a second term. And if his onstage moments that appear to be related to his cognition are actually due to cognitive decline that is being accelerated by untreated hearing loss, then he should be the first person in line to treat his hearing loss with hearing aids just like the late President Ronald Reagan. Because let's face it, if he could slow down his rate of cognitive decline by up to 48%, that would be a difference maker. Now, President Joe Biden has helped individuals with hearing loss already, whether you realize it or not, because he urged the FDA to actually draft the guidelines for over-the-counter hearing aids, which created a new category of devices that are at a lower price point for millions of Americans. But if he were to start using hearing aids himself, hearing aid adoption rates across the United States would likely skyrocket even more. Of course, if Joe Biden does not actually have hearing loss, then this entire video is moot and you should just ignore me and move on with your life. But if my suspicions are correct and President Joe Biden does in fact have a hearing loss with mild cognitive impairment, the best thing that he could do for himself and the entire country is treat his hearing loss with hearing aids.